Mixed results on Wall Street today. The Dow finishing down 22 points, closing at 24,553. The S&P 500 up three, ending the day at 2642. And the Nasdaq up 47 points, finishing at 7,073. Market analysis now from Todd Peters. He's with Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. He's in the newsroom. Hi, Todd. Hi, Brian. So what was going on on Wall Street today? What were investors looking at? Yeah, we had a lot of cross currents in the market today. Uh, on the negative side, we had a weak uh, report on leading economic indicators. Uh, we also had some comments from Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross that the U.S. and China were still miles apart on a trade deal. Uh, both of those things weighed on sentiment. Uh, on the flip side, we had some good quarterly results out of the transportation sector to help balance things off. And so far this year, the market has climbed that proverbial wall of worry. We're up about 5.5% year to date. But today, investors uh, hit the pause button. All right, you mentioned leading economic indicators being weak. Give us some detail on that, if you would. Yeah, there's, uh, there's 10 factors that go into this report. And, and they include things uh, such as factory orders, uh, building permits. And these factors are meant to look into the future in terms of what the economy is going to look like. Now, for the month of December, the index fell just one-tenth of one percent, so not a lot to be concerned about there. But the government shutdown is really not factored into these numbers yet. And I think, Brian, you had reported last night that the uh, president's uh, economic advisor had expressed concern that if this government shutdown drags on, we could see first quarter GDP growth close to zero. Yeah, that would certainly affect those numbers. Let's talk about earnings reports. It's uh, earnings season. Airlines reporting today. How'd they do? You know, it was, it was really a pretty good report. Uh, more anecdotal evidence that both businesses and consumers are not letting their concerns about slowing global uh, growth affect their travel budgets. Uh, JetBlue, American Air, and Southwest all reporting strong results, and each of their stocks up between 5 and 6 percent today. Now, clearly, lower fuel prices helped uh, improve their bottom lines for the quarter, but several airline executives did express concern that if this government shutdown continues, it could weigh on future results. Yeah, that certainly would affect the airlines, you would think. Okay, a company that I support from the outside, Starbucks, it had its earnings reports. If you go by what I spent, it should be up. Yeah, it was actually a very good report. They beat analyst estimates on both sales as well as earnings. If you look at same store sales here in the U.S., up a very healthy 4%. Although this metric in the closely watched Chinese market was up not quite as much. Now, China is a key growth market for Starbucks for perhaps obvious reasons. You just don't have the saturation of stores there that you do in the, in the U.S. Uh, the stock was up about 2% today in after hours trading. All right, and what are we looking at for tomorrow? Tomorrow we were supposed to get reports on both durable goods and new home sales, but with the government shutdown, these reports unfortunately are delayed. All right, Todd Peters, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks, Todd. Thank you, Brian.